All right, everybody, welcome back. Time to get into the bonnet more seriously now with cutting and buffing. We'll see if my dry spots and all that kind of stuff come out. I hope so. All right, so closing up on the bonnet here. I don't know how well it's gonna show up, but you could probably see how rough it is in there, in here with the dry spots as compared to maybe something in here. Um, inside here is not too bad. So I gotta soak some sandpaper, so I'm gonna let uh, move on to something else real quick while I let sandpaper soak for a little while. But that's, uh, I'm gonna just do kind of concentrate on one side. I wanna find out earlier rather than later whether or not I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in trouble here, so wish me luck. Got the half of the, uh, this half of the, of the bonnet cleaned off. I took the nib file and got the higher stuff now. You can see that it's uh, all taped off as well. So all my hard edges around the, um, the headlight buckets and all that, which I failed to do on the uh, wing side, if you remember, and I burned through in a couple spots. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is again, um, more to see if I'm gonna have to paint or not. If that's the case, I'm probably gonna call it a night and go home and cry. So we'll, uh, I was going to start with a thousand grit because it's in pretty bad shape and uh, go from there and see, uh, see if I get lucky or not. Crossing my fingers. All right, well, I think I'm gonna be good. It's, I mean, I gotta go back at it. Obviously, you can see the little uh, high spots and everything like that, but this is coming out pretty well. There's still a lot of texture, don't get me wrong. This is far from, from being done. You can see, I think, no, you can't because the camera can't focus. You can see there that that's practically done, but I just didn't spend enough time elsewhere. So anyway, so I, I feel better, and uh, I'm not gonna bore you with more blocking here. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done through a thousand. Done with a thousand grit, got most of uh, most everything up, pretty happy. So now I'm gonna move on to the 1200, but I'm gonna be using the uh, the orbital. And same deal with the uh, orbital palm sander here as it was with the DA sander with the with the concentric stuff and all that. The same concerns with following the, the contour of the panel and not locking the thing up and, and keeping the swirls out of there. So I'm gonna try, spend a little bit more time. I've got everything taped off. There was a couple spots that the tape started coming off, so I re-taped that trying to be a lot more conscious of that and uh, hopefully this one will work out okay too. Twelve hundred is done. Moving on to 1500. Now, I did take this whole inner wing here with hand. I didn't do the, the uh, DA there at all because I was just afraid I would burn through, especially in this corner. So, it's looking all right. Um, there's gonna be imperfections in this. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. There's gonna be imperfections. So, I'll come back when the uh, 1500's done. Brendan, I hope you're paying attention. All right, out through 1500, you'll notice I took the tape off. I re-taped over on this side and, and laid it out this way and just did the spine here and then took the tape off. So about 2000 grit is where I've been taking tape off to kind of blend in the edges so you can see how shiny these are and how not so shiny everything else is. Like I said, there's still some imperfections where I didn't go quite deep enough. I'm gonna to continue to go. I, like I said, that stuff's so bad, I'm afraid I'm gonna burn through. So gonna continue on, put 2000 down and then I may stop there, we'll see. All right, done through uh, 2000. Unfortunately, I had a really good burn through right there. Probably the worst that I've done. So that's, you know, that's a bummer. Right on the nose too, I'm sure nobody will see that. Uh, probably have too many scratches, just kind of looking at it in the bright light. So I'm gonna uh, probably come back maybe to even 1500 and do by hand. Uh, but, I, but I'm not gonna do it now, I'm not gonna do it tonight. The, uh, the burn through kind of, gets you a little bit so I'm going to uh, I got the original bumpers over there 
and I think I'm going to swap them out with the stainless steel ones here real quick and just see if these are going to fit any better. And then uh, with the answer to that mull over, what I left the last video with is potentially moving on to just using the original, at least rear bumpers. So we'll see what happens here. All right, so out with the new, in with the old. Well, crap, <laughs> that fits real good. Nice and flush, nice and flush. This uh, bolt isn't tight all the way, but it would be, sits nice and close to the side of the car. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of a bummer. I think they'll clean up well. I have another set of them from the black car. It might be in better shape. There is a, uh, a ding here in it but I think they'll clean up fine, so I guess uh, cross my fingers and hope that that front bumper is in better shape, or fits better, I should say, than the rear does. All right, that's it for me for tonight. All right, everybody, welcome back. Saturday, about 9.30. I've been here for a little while, just kind of cleaning stuff up. In my uh, last video, I asked what was up with the turn signal here, flashing slower and slower as time went on, and I was pretty confident that I knew the answer to that. Well, that was totally not right at all, so thanks for, for Robin for going, hey, if you don't have the front turn signal hooked up, it's probably not gonna work right. So sure enough, the, uh, it's a current draw thing, but it's not the current draw that, that I thought it was. So what I did here is you can see the little turn signal for the front there. I hooked that guy up. I got the battery hooked up now, so I get some oomph behind it, and I do it. You can really hear the click, and it's not slowing down at all, much brighter. Um, so yeah, so that's a, a little lesson learned for you now. You can barely see it, but the little am, uh, indicator in the center of the dash is also working. What was happening with that was it would flash once as soon as I hit with that initial curve draw and then nothing. So thanks, Robin. You, uh, you kind of win the show, I guess. And uh, there was one other viewer, Gordon, who uh, also, I think, had, had it right on, though he wasn't uh, as confident maybe. But, uh, but yeah, so I learned something new. And that's why I love doing this stuff. So thanks. All right, continuing to jump around here just to keep things exciting. I taped off the rear here. These little strips coming up the sides of the boot. And then the whole entire sail plate. Now this stuff's not in too bad shape. There's, there is a good amount of trash in the sail plate here. But I'm going to start with 1500, especially in here. Because uh, I think I can get away with it. Hopefully, we'll see. If I, I might have to go down to 1200 on the sail plate again for the trash. Here I've taped off right about this point. That's about where I'm going to stop. I have another block. This little guy here, this little door block. It's not really a flexible block, but that'll allow me to get the skinny places. And then up in here, it'll allow me to get that as well. So I'm going to use that. And then just know my normal hand sanding everywhere else. The only place that I will use the rotary if I do use it at all is just up in here. And uh, we'll just go for it and hopefully see that we can get it. And then if I do get to this point, I might put the boot lid on. You can also see here that I put the vanity plate in for the cover in the gas tank. This is, uh, it's not going in great. It's a little bit big. It seems just a, just a tad bit tall. So there's probably going to be some, some arrangement here. It's just particle board. It's not uh, that, like the paper particle board, not wood particle board. So it's not, it's not great. There's a cutout here for the lamp on the later cars had lamps in the boot you know because like i've said before chimes all about creature comfort so that my car obviously doesn't have that so that'll that'll just stay with the cutout so it's kind of obvious looking but so be it so we'll go ahead here i've gotten everything cleaned up already we'll go ahead and we'll just start uh, continuing to block out because that's what i do i block and i buff
All right, out through 1500 is done. Came out pretty good. I got all the stuff out of there, all the trash. So now the, I'm gonna let it dry. It's still a little wet. That's kind of why it looks pretty good. It's not that nice and shiny. The um, next up is 2000. I got that ready to go down here. I'm gonna try to use, again, both the, the block and the orbital and just try to get all those 1500 scratches out. 2000's done. I pulled off all the tape off of the uh, edges in preparation for doing the 3000 so I can kind of blend them in there. I left it on the tape on the edge where the trim is going to go because it's a hard edge and I don't really care and it's going to be covered with, with uh, chrome trim anyway. But it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Definitely better than the bonnet looks. So I'm, I'm happy with the way that it's going. All these spots in here if I do anything at all, it's all going to be buffing compound just by hand, like if you're waxing a car or something like that. Same thing with all this stuff here. I did kind of, some of the tape did kind of um, lift up a little bit, so I got some, some rubbing there. But I think uh, just regular, the aggressive buffing compound will, will hopefully take care of that. And I, again, I'm just going to do all that by hand. There is a, a piece of trash here, but I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. Same thing with the hinge tops here and uh, around those edges. So I'll uh, grab a bite to eat real quick and then I'll come back and, and do the 3000 on this stuff. Looking good through 3000. Time to step up to the uh, buffing wheel now. You can see it's got a pretty good sheen in there so I'm happy with the way that it looks. I think it's gonna buff out just fine. I did uh, do the 3000 a little bit on the hinge cover and you kind of see that dulled it up just a little bit. But I expect that to pop right back with the, uh, with the uh, buffing compound. One of my viewers, Lone Star Lowe, says I probably need to use a little bit more buffing compound. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I wouldn't say I've been stingy with it, but I probably haven't been using as much as I can. Happy with the way that's looking. I uh, continuing to learn that I got to spend more time with grits. I think 2,000 to 3,000 kind of seems to be my magic spot. Again, I only started with 1,500 on the sail plate here, but I had uh, buffed some out and then came back again, starting back at 2,000 and just spent more time. But uh, but it came up. I think in these corners here on both sides, when when I get it out into the sunlight, I'm going to notice some some not so nice spots. So really for the, for the uh, back end of the car here, all that's left is this, is this rear wing over here, the driver's side wing. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the boot lid on now and also take care. I have some uh, carpet kind of stuff that goes back here. I, I need to vacuum out in here and then wipe it out again and get all the, the residue and everything like that out of there.
Well, I don't know if that was the best way to put on the boot lid, but it's on. Rubbing pretty good over on this side. Nothing's tightened down all the way. I just wanted to get the hinges in there and secured. I'll have to uh, adjust it when I have some time. I'm not gonna do that today now. I wanna get out of here. Um, so yeah, the, uh, with the exception of this wing over here, the back end of the car is done. Do have some scratches and everything in the sail plate like I had mentioned, but that's uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna live with that. I didn't visit the, uh, the bonnet at all, so that's gonna be it. All right, buddy, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment below, tell me what you think. Well, the boot lid is on. Hopefully this will be the last time it has to come on and go off. So continue in the cut and buff process. We'll see how far I get next time. Be careful out there, be healthy. Cheers. Mm -hmm.